Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. Today I'm going to be sharing 10 things that I buy from the Dollar Tree that are from the baby care section. These are things that I would buy for myself. I would give as recommendations, things that I think are a good deal. I'm also going to be giving you guys five things that I don't buy that I don't think are a good deal when it comes to the baby care section. I've done a ton of other videos like this, so if you want to see those, I'll have them linked in a card up here or down below if you want to watch them after you're done watching this video. I also want to say a huge thank you to the subscriber or viewer that mentioned this video idea, so thank you so much for giving me the idea. I'm doing this one for you. All right, guys, let's get started. This video is in no particular order, but we're going to do the best things first. So the first thing that I think is a good deal and you should be buying from the Dollar Tree is their bottle brushes. Anybody that's had a baby or has had kids or babysat or has nieces and nephews knows cleaning those bottles is extremely hard. You can go through those bottle brushes really quickly. Some work better than others, but the ones at the Dollar Tree work really, really well. The bottle brushes are really good if you have shaker bottles or if you have water bottles to really get deep down in there and clean them out. So even if you're not cleaning baby bottles, those bottle brushes are really good just to keep at the house. So the second thing that I think is a really good deal is the washcloths and the wash mitts. When you have like a newborn baby, it's really nice to have something that's cute and entertaining for them when they are getting a bath. They want to be stimulated while they're in the bathtub and those wash mitts really do the job. Even if you have bigger kids, using the wash mitt can get them clean a lot quicker. I really enjoy the washcloths with the little faces on there. I had like some orange ones like that. So the third thing that I think is a good deal at the Dollar Tree is actually not in the baby care section. It's in the dog section and it's their doggy poop bags. These are perfect for dirty diapers. When you're on the go and you have them in your diaper bag, it's perfect when your kid needs their diaper changed and you have to put your diaper somewhere. Those little, those little like, the little diaper poopy bags can be so expensive at Bye Bye Baby or Babies R Us. If you just go to the Dollar Tree, you get the little poopy bags for the dogs, you use them for the diapers and you're good to go. So the fourth thing that I think is a good deal is the plastic bibs. These are good to keep in your diaper bag when you're out with your six month old and they're wanting to eat or something like that. They can get all messy. They're just easy to put on them and then you can throw them away. I always hated having like dirty clothes in my diaper bag. Sometimes you would forget and it would get gross. So these bibs are really good because you can just put them on when you're out to eat and then take them off and put them right into the trash. So number five is the petroleum jelly and the AMD ointment. Some kids get really bad diaper rash. Both of my kids would have like more severe diaper rash. So we didn't use the one from the Dollar Tree very often. We were using like the more expensive like butt paste. So number six, I think the 12 pack of spoons is really, really good deal. I feel like once your kid masters using a spoon, it doesn't matter if they're using an expensive spoon or a Dollar Tree spoon. I like to stick them in the diaper bag because I would put like a little bit of food and the spoon and if it didn't come back or if we lost it or something like that, it wasn't a big deal. When you're giving them to grandma or if they're going with the babysitter, you can give them the food and spoon and if it doesn't come back, it's a-okay. Also, the spoon doubles as a toy sometimes. Sometimes you can occupy your kids with just a spoon while you're sitting at dinner and you're trying to finish. They can use that spoon as a toy as well. You know kids, little babies, they want to play with everything, so I definitely would recommend that spoon pack. So number seven would be the sippy cups for basically all ages. So when your kid is really little, depending on when you start solids, if you start at three months, four months, five months, six months, getting them to get the hang of actually using a sippy cup can be really, really hard. Dollar Tree has the ones with the two handles where they can practice a little bit better, can fill it up with a tiny little bit of water, give them the cup. Most of the time they end up throwing it on the floor, but I would definitely recommend the ones with the two handles for the little ones that are just starting out using the sippy cups. So number eight would be the snack cups. They have a bunch of different ones at the Dollar Tree, but I really do enjoy it. It comes in a two pack. It has a lid. It has a little character on there. Some of them even come with the spoon. I I like to put a couple different things in there. You can stick them in their diaper bag. They also have ones that come with a lid and there's an opening at the top where your toddler can stick their hand and get their own snack. This is really good for teaching them to be independent. You know, once they hit that six month mark, they wanna do everything on their own. Number nine is the boogie wipes. You guys, if you're not getting these boogie wipes or if you have not tried a boogie wipe, try them. They will help any kid's little runny nose. It's so sad, especially in the winter time when you see a little baby with a little 
stuffed up nose. You don't have to use baby wipes. You can use the boogie wipes. They have a little bit of saline on them, so it helps to get all of that little crustiness on there. They're a dollar, so they're a good deal. Number 10 is the cold packs for the owies. You guys know as our kids get bigger and they get a boo-boo, they want to be cuddled. They want to be nurtured. These boo-boo packs, you stick them in the freezer. They get really cold, so you can put it on their boo-boo. It helps them feel much better. They have cute little characters. You don't have to have it. It's not like a necessity, but they're really cute to buy for them, and it helps them get over their boo-boo a lot quicker. So now moving on to the things that I don't buy that I don't recommend that I think are not worth it at the Dollar Tree. Number one is the baby wipes. I hate the off-brand. I do not like the off-brand Dollar Tree wipes. I feel like they are so flimsy. They are not wet enough. When you're talking about cleaning a poopy butt, those Dollar Tree wipes do not cut it. The Huggies pack that they do have, it just doesn't seem like a good enough deal for a dollar. If you are in a pinch, in a dire emergency, you are out in the store and you don't have anything and you need to buy this, I think that's a good deal. But you can get so much more if you go to Walmart and get the off-brand or Target and use coupons. So number two goes right along with the wipes and that's the diapers. If you're in a pinch and your baby needs to be changed, maybe you forgot your diaper bag or you're just in a pinch, then pick up the diapers. You can find them on Amazon or Target for like sometimes five, ten cents per diaper when you buy them in bulk. So it's much better, much more convenient, much more cost effective to buy more diapers at a cheaper price. So number three would be the No Tears shampoo, the No Tears body wash. If you see Sesame Street on it, run. Go the other way. Do not buy it. I cannot stand that stuff. It is so gimmicky. It has no lather. It has no scent. It, I just don't even feel like it really cleans your baby. There is nothing better than a clean smelling baby. Baby. And you know what that is? Johnson's and Johnson's the nighttime bath. I love that stuff. It was worth every penny. You can find it really inexpensively at Walmart. Number four would be the baby lotion. Oh, that baby lotion bothers me. It is so watery. It does not have a thick consistency. When you're talking about little baby dry skin, like my kids have ultra dry skin. Even when they were like little babies, they would have dry skin. You need a good thick cream for your little baby skin and the Dollar Tree baby lotion just does not do anything. It is way too watery compared to the regular baby lotion. I don't buy it. I don't recommend it. So number five is a personal preference, but we do not buy pacifiers at the Dollar Tree. Just because my sons were very specific on the pacifiers that they did like. They didn't just take any old pacifier. Now when Quincy was like probably one, almost two, and he was still taking a pacifier, I think I brought them at the Dollar Tree. But when we're talking about a new baby, somebody that's just getting used to breastfeeding or the bottle, the Dollar Tree pacifiers are super big. They're nothing like a nipple. So we don't buy the pacifiers at the Dollar Tree unless they were like my kid, too old. Like too old, shouldn't have had a pacifier, almost two years old. That's when we got them from the Dollar Tree. So the last and final one is bottles. I don't recommend buying the bottles from the Dollar Tree, especially for new babies, like zero to six month old. The flow of the nipple is really, really important. If your baby has gas issues, colic issues, you need a slow flowing nipple. You don't want the nipple to be too fast. If you are trying to breastfeed and you're supplementing, you want the bottle to be very similar to the breast. So you really need to make sure that you're using the correct bottle for your little baby. If you have an older baby that's still maybe taking juice or something like that at night, then maybe get the bottle. But those Dollar Tree bottles leak. They are not good quality. They are not sealed. So you may like wake up and you have milk all over your baby if you give it to them in their crib at bed. If I can make one recommendation, invest in good bottles especially if you're bottle feeding. It really can help how much your kids are eating, how fast they're eating, just the overall growth of your kid. Food is so important to babies from like for the first year, like how much food is so, so important. You really want to invest in the way that they're feeding. If you're breastfeeding, invest in your own body, the foods that you're eating, taking care of yourself. And if you are bottle feeding, invest in good bottles and good formula so that you can have the healthiest kid possible. So guys, those were the 10 things that I buy from the Dollar Tree that I recommend and six things that I don't recommend. I want to hear from you. Do you agree? Disagree? What do you think? If this video was helpful to you or if you got any new ideas, Share this video with a friend and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Turn on the post notifications so that you guys are notified every time I upload. I love you guys more than you'll ever know. I love, I appreciate you, and I cannot wait to see you guys for another video. Bye guys!